Hey, welcome back. In this real estate economy, things are changing like crazy, or maybe you're just getting started. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get a cash buyer's list. Hey, thanks for stumbling upon this video. I'm gonna show you some of my best ninja tricks are pro tips that me and my team are using to get a cash buyers list for our wholesale deals, our real estate deals. I'm going to give you multiple ways right now, even if you're just getting started. All right. So first I'm going to paint you a scenario. Let's just say that you are starting out in Denver, Colorado. You get a property in Denver, Colorado. Let's just say it's a single family home. And now it's like, oh my gosh, I know this is a good deal but I don't have anybody to buy it. So the first place I recommend you going is Batch Leads Brent. Again, that's Batch Leads Brent. I'm gonna go ahead and screen record and show you a demo of exactly how to find the cash buyers that are buying today in this market. All right, so here's BatchLeadsBrent.com. This is gonna give you a seven day free trial to get a thousand buyer leads or seller leads for free. You can experience the power of batch leads and create your first targeted real estate list right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is in my actual, let me go to batch leads. Let me go to my portal, batch leads.io, log in. Now I've already paid for this, purchased this. Um, I've already ran skip traces, so I've already kind of done this, but let's just go to property search and we're gonna go to Denver, Colorado. Disney World search. And we're looking for cash buyers, right? We're looking for cash buyers for our wholesale deals. So what's really cool is they have a quick list right here at the bottom for us. You go to quick filter, you're gonna hit the up arrow. You're gonna go to the cash buyer section, 107,000 cash buyers in Denver, Colorado. Now we're gonna go to the filter section because we wanna get very specific on what we have. If it's a piece of land, we wanna select land. If it's a single family residence, we wanna select the single family residence. If it's a mobile home, we wanna select mobile home. So let's just go through these filters here. So occupancy status, I want them to be absentee owners because I want my cash buyer to be a real estate investor or a wholesale or a flipper or a buy and hold you know, landlord. I don't want it to be somebody that you know just paid cash for their home. So we're gonna go absentee out of state, absentee in state. We wanna check all the boxes here. Vacancy status, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, that, we're not really worried about checking anything for that. All classifications. Remember what I said, if we're doing a single family home, so we're gonna do residential, property type. You can select anything, you know, single family, town home, cluster home, condominium unit. We're just gonna do single family for this purposes. You can even go to like if, if they only, you're looking for a cash buyer to buy a 1968 home or a three bedroom, two bath. You can get very specific in these details. I'm gonna skip that. And then I'm gonna go down to ownership information. Let's just say that I am looking for someone that's bought in the last like nine months. This is what's really cool about this. Or the last three months. You want someone that's been active in the game in the last couple months or maybe the last 12 months or they're looking for their another, another deal but let's just say last three months because a lot's happened in the last three months of this real estate economy. The interest rates have kind of went up a little bit. So I want to make sure that I'm finding actual buyers in the game right now, not the ones standing on the sidelines. All right, if you're loving this, smash that like button. Let's keep moving. So let's just go back over what we chose. We got Denver, Colorado. We got occupancy status, absentee owner. We got residential single family homes. And in the last three months from about June to September, we're going to apply it. It's going to take it from about 107,000 cash buyers to about 755 cash buyers. So what's really cool about that is this is a pretty good list to start with, but maybe that's like, oh my gosh, that's too much. Let's get a little bit more, let's get a little bit more narrow focused here. Let's just say maybe that uh, you want uh, in a certain area or let's just, let's just go here. Actually, let's save this. It's not going to ask me to do a filter, so I don't want to do that. Let's do another example right here where we go to boundary. Let's just say that your property is right here and you only want to find cash buyers buying right here. So I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to select it. Just clear that. Clear that circle. Let's go back to Denver, Colorado. So if you mess this up, it's a good example for you. Once that loads up, I'm 
Okay, I lost the entire filter. So I'm gonna go ahead back to this. I've lost it all. So let me just go go again. Let me start again here. I'll do this really quick. And we are looking for single family home, residential. And then we're looking for ownership info that have purchased in the last three months. Apply. All right, that took us down to 4,200, so I'm still missing something, right? Single, remember it was uh, absentee owners. So that's a really good example to show you what type of owner, that just shows you right there that there's quite a few people that buy homes and just buy them for cash. So when people say, oh man, there's, there's no money out there. There's a lot of money out there. There's tons of money out there. All right, ownership info. Absentee owner, in-state, out-of-state, apply. All right, 755, we're back. All right, let's, let's close this. And let's just say that I want this little area right here. I'm gonna draw the boundary. I'm gonna do a circle. Actually, this time I'm gonna do like a, just a rectangle. There we go. That's gonna give me only that area of cash buyers. That got me down to 120 cash buyers. That's way more manageable. So I'm gonna select add. I'm actually gonna select all of them, select all, and then add. And then if I, I if I knew the zip code, I would put it, but cash buyer Denver zip code. Select tag, I'm not really worried about that. Save it. Import process in progress. So that's gonna take a couple minutes because it's 120. So you know, just grab a cup of coffee or something like that. And let's see if it's available yet. I'm gonna click my drop down arrow next to my name. I'm gonna to go to my workspace. I'm gonna click select data management. And as that's loading up, it's still loading there. So cash buyer Denver zip code. Here's one that I did previously, cash buyer uh, to present. So I've already done this one. So this will kind of show you an example. It's also it's a, just a larger part of Denver. And I'm just gonna select the first 10. Let's just say you wanna select all of them. You just select this box right here, it'll select all of them. So nine, 10, it shows me up here that I selected 10. And then action, skip trace it. This is gonna get the phone number and the emails. It's gonna charge me a dollar twenty twelve cents a record. Now, if it doesn't get the record, if it doesn't get the phone number or the email, it doesn't charge you. And then you hit skip trace. And then once it goes through, it'll actually uh, send them over. And then you can check to see that we got the phone numbers and the emails. So now that I've skip traced it, I'm gonna to go to my skip trace file, Denver Cash Buyer. I'm gonna select it. It shows that it found 10 records. It got a 100% hit rate. And I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna go to my downloads. I'm gonna open it up. And here you have it. You can make these cells bigger here. So you can see their first name, their last name. You can scroll over to the phone numbers. There it is. Phone number, mobile, tells you if it's a mobile or a landline. Keep scrolling, there's tons of phone numbers. You wanna call all these phone numbers because sometimes the last one is the right one. Sometimes the first one's the right one. You just never know. They're looking through a database, seeing all the phone numbers these people have ever had, all the addresses. Sometimes you get up to 10 phone numbers. And then what's really cool too is you get their emails. I want you to email these people. I want you to call them. I want you to leave a voicemail and text message them. You know, and keep it super, super simple. Hey, congrats on the purchase of 123 Main Street. I've got another smoking hot deal for you. Are you interested? Here's the address. And that is how you create a cash buyer's list. All right, guys, here you have it. This is how you build the hungriest, you know, most salivating cash buyers list out there. These are people buying right now, today, in this real estate market, and it gives you their phone numbers and their email addresses. I wish I had this to start out with. That is batchleadsbrent.com. Go there right now. If you're interested in joining an amazing community, amazing Rhino Nation, I want you to go to the Wholesaling Inc. podcast and check out our podcast, see what we have to offer. We are the number one real estate investing podcast out there right now.